this is your new Red Ram V8 engine. During the years of designing, developing, and perfecting the Red Ram, it has come through thousands and thousands of hours of exacting tests in the laboratory and on the road. And its proved performance is in a class by itself. The new Red Ram develops a full 140 horsepower at 4,400 revolutions per minute. It produces more horsepower per cubic inch displacement than any other engine in an American passenger car. It is capable of speeds of more than 100 miles an hour, and it can cruise along the highway for endless hours with a smoothness and quietness unbelievable. And the Red Ram has plenty of reserve power, plenty of pickup, acceleration to spare. And believe it or not, the Red Ram will do this while using regular fuel. We in the lab feel the Red Ram engine is destined to be the new symbol of economy, efficiency and performance, power, speed, and long life. And here's why. Its economical, efficient power is generated in the fire flash combustion chambers, which are hemispherical in shape. Aircraft, as well as automotive engineers, have long known that this is, from every standpoint, the ideal type of combustion chamber. And in the Red Ram, the ideal has reached perfection. First of all, the hemispherical combustion chamber ensures high thermal efficiency. In other words, it makes it possible to convert more heat into useful power. As everyone knows, a certain amount of heat is always lost through the surface of any combustion chamber. And heat is energy. So the natural thing to do is keep the surface area of the combustion chamber as small as possible. That's why the combustion chamber is hemispherical in shape. It's a geometrical fact that a sphere represents the smallest possible surface in which to contain a given volume. In other words, again, there is less surface area in a quart-sized bowl than in a quart-sized cylindrical shaped jar, consequently less area to dissipate heat. Let's try a little experiment and see what happens. We'll pour a quart of hot liquid into each of these containers. Now we'll immerse the containers to the brim in this bath of ice water. At this moment, the temperatures are exactly the same. Now watch the thermometers and see what happens. See how much less heat is being lost through the smaller surface of the bowl. After two minutes, the difference is even more apparent. Likewise, in automobile engines, combustion chambers that are not hemispherical waste heat through the larger surfaces. But in the Red Ram, instead of the heat being wasted, it is turned into extra and working power. In the hemispherical chamber, the gas has an ideal place to work and to work efficiently. In slow motion animation, we see that because of the design of the ordinary combustion chamber, with the spark plug off on one side, the flame has a much greater distance to travel, that the burning time is naturally much longer and the result is a tendency to detonate, and we have our old enemy, the ping. In the fire flash hemispherical chamber, with the spark plug located in the center, the flame has less distance to travel, the combustion takes place in a shorter space of time, as it should. The flame front progresses evenly throughout the chamber, and the pressure on the piston head is direct. The result is a smooth, even power thrust, with greater freedom from engine ping or knock. That's why the Red Ram engine does not require premium fuel, but delivers its amazing performance on regular gasoline, even though the Red Ram has a high compression ratio of 7.1 to 1. Another tremendous advantage of the hemispherical combustion chamber is its high volumetric efficiency or its better breathing. In other words, the ability of the engine to inhale the maximum amount of fuel and air mixture and exhale the exhaust gases also 
in the shortest possible time. Because of the very large valves in the Red Ram engine, the free-flowing intake and exhaust ports, the volumetric efficiency of the Red Ram's combustion chamber is unsurpassed. And to help it breathe properly, the free-flow manifolds, both intake and exhaust, have no sharp turns to trap and block the flow. Notice how the air and fuel mixture flows downhill from the carburetor into the hemispherical combustion chamber where it is ignited. The burned gases then flow freely out the large exhaust port into the exhaust manifold. The intake manifold is divided into two principal sections, each with a separate passage supplied by one side of the dual-throated carburetor. Each section distributes the fuel mixture through the individual branches to the two outer cylinders in one bank and the two inner cylinders in the opposite bank. Thus the passages are of relatively equal length and fuel mixture is distributed in uniform quantities to each cylinder. Moreover, to further improve engine breathing, each red ram cylinder has its own exhaust passage leading to the exhaust manifold. And instead of being interconnected, the outlet of each exhaust manifold is directly connected to the exhaust pipe. This arrangement improves valve life and increases the power available at the rear wheels. This superior manifolding is just one of the reasons for the amazing smoothness, quietness, yet powerful action of the Red Ram engine at all speeds. Another reason for the brilliant action of the Red Ram is in its efficient valve train, actuated by quiet, efficient hydraulic valve lifters. Some competitive V8 engines use the longitudinal arrangement with all its space limitations. But because of lateral valve arrangement, the Red Ram provides the maximum amount of space for large valves, adequate space for valve cooling, and the intake and exhaust flow is direct and unrestricted. The overhead valves are actuated by push rods and rocker arms on twin rocker shafts. One push rod and rocker arm operates the intake valve and another the exhaust valve. Still another reason for the exceptionally fine performance, economy, and long life of the Red Ram is its high mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency is greatly improved by reducing friction within the engine. So in the Red Ram engine, friction is reduced by means of the short stroke or the shorter distance traveled by each piston. Actually, this means in the space of a mile, the ordinary piston travels 2,195 feet. But in the Red Ram engine, piston travel is reduced to 1,540 feet and the short stroke consequently means less wear. Now adding to the Red Ram's economy is the compact dual-throated carburetor, which together with superior manifolding ensures precise fuel metering to each cylinder under all driving conditions. The special thin aluminum throttle body readily transmits heat and retards throttle icing and stalling. The Red Ram engine has many, many additional features and improvements such as the double breaker distributor, weatherproof ignition, shunt type oil filter, all to make the Red Ram V8 the supreme engine of the year.